you saw in this video before this, I did a review video on three different products and I washed my hair while I was reviewing the products and told y'all about it. The shampoo and conditioner from Silk Elements, that was my third time using that. And then the deep conditioner packet that I did, that was my first time using that. So if you saw that video, then you know why my hair look like this. So now I'm going to do my hair. And I'm going to take you along with me while I do my hair. But the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to wrap my hair right now so that way it can dry for a couple of hours while I wrap. And so that way I won't have to use that much heat on my hair when I blow dry it. So let's wrap this hair and then I'll see y'all in a couple of hours once it dry a little bit and then we'll blow dry it. So. Like always, when I, you know, first wash my hair and I deep condition it and all that, I'm going to put my leave-in conditioner in there. I always put this in my hair after I wash it in conditioner. I always now that I put that in my hair, I am going to put my hairstyling mousse right here in my hair. It's for wrapping and setting your hair because I will be using my flexi rods in this video, so... product that I'm going to put in my hair and these are the only three products I will be using in my hair for this video and for this hairstyle it's just my BB oil moisturizer right here and I love to use this when I blow dry my hair especially
Plexi rods except for four. I had a total of 25, I think. I used all of them before. And this is how it came out. And as you saw, I sectioned my hair the way I wanted my curls to fall when I unravel them. And what I was putting on my ends was this right here. So it wouldn't be frizzy, you know. And it wouldn't be that ragged ends. And as far as anti-frizz, I did nothing for, you know, just anti-frizz. The deep conditioner packet that I use supposed to be like anti-frizzy. But I doubt it's anti-frizzy. And that's really it. So you see I got some pieces right here that, you know, didn't want to wrap completely and yes I did blow dry my hair before I did this because sometimes when you do flexi wads your hair don't completely dry and I always do it on wet hair and I wanted to try it on dry hair just to see how it come out if it's a different because the last time I did flexi wads I did not do them on camera I wanted to do it on camera it's when I first colored my hair I wanted to do it on camera but it was too late and I had to go to sleep and had to get ready for work the next morning. So I didn't put it on camera. But I'll put a picture in of me with my flexi rods when I did it that time. I'll put that picture in. But other than that, this is how it looks right now. I'm going to put this bonnet on my head right here. And I will see you guys. Bye.